Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungo Collects. It's my book in this episode, my money box. I'm trying to find some coins to go in my album and hopefully some Benjamin monies to go in the money box. Now Lady M, who was just sat over there, tells me she only needs 13 coins to complete our album. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21. I'm some I'm some I'm some way behind, aren't I? Uh, yeah. Especially in the Olympic stage. But Ooh. hopefully, as we rattle through August and really bear down on our uh New Year's Eve deadline, I'm optimistic there's gonna be plenty of coins in here for me. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So this is day the 7th of July, just like the bag in the last episode was. It's a little bit younger than your bag. Yeah. You did find an Olympic in your last hunt. Okay. So hopefully there was plenty of Olympics in the hopper in the Haydock Cash Centre. And some of them are going to fall into these bags with a bit of luck. What do you think? Uh, good luck. Oh, and if you want to stay tuned at the end of the video as well, I can show you the new Winnie the Pooh coin as well that we've not long had delivered about a week and a half ago. At the point that mm. you'll be watching this video, sorry, I'm just Sorry, booled. Tom Kitten there. No, nope, it was just me booling. <laughs> so I've kicked us off with a commemorative. It is only worth fifty pence, and I believe it will only be worth fifty pence for a long, long time. Just like this uh, Battle of Hastings, it's got a different obverse, a different queen side. There it is. Nice condition now. Reasonable anyway. Reasonable. I'm going to put that down in the plum because it's in nice condition. Ooh. Ooh, and this will be a this will be a battle of Britain. One believes 2015, 50 pence written on the side, JC Portrait. It is not in very nice condition, but I do like the Battle of Britain's. So just like the last episode, there's quite a lot of commemoratives mm. in one bag. So I'm hoping that this bodes well. It's not in my Not in yours. Oh dear. And we will of course be looking for the not intended for circulation coins, the shield coins that wouldn't necessarily be in circulation if someone hadn't bought them for their annual mm -hmm. set. Where's it? Sherlock Holmes looking rather grubby. I've got a 2010 with a pointy top. This can mean only one thing and it's girl guides. What are you putting there? Another nice condition as well. In there. Oh, sorry. Slot? I'm putting that there. It's in nice condition. That. Mm -hmm. Oh, 2000. Yeah, he's a Benji. Yep. There, you go. there he is. So members, if you want to use your members emojis in the comments to have a guess at how many Benjamin bunnies you think we will find. Lady M found a lot in the last hunt, so I'm going to say we're going to find nine. Okay. I'm saying nine. What was five? Five. Paddington Cathedral. Okay, so you must at least get your quarter to get any points in this episode. Interesting. So good luck to you, Lady M, and I hope that you do at least manage to get your quarter. Okay. Otherwise, it will be a draw. There's a diversity bill, Britain. That's in nice condition as well. But there's over 10 million of them in circulation. So we won't be keeping, we won't be keeping them. Good start, I feel. It's a good start. Okay. Oops. Black eye in that one. Peter Rabbit, tail thereof, 2017. Only one required Jeremy Toad Boy, and we'll have completed the 2017 Potter set. Mm. Down the left hand side. He's a puddle duck. It's a Peter Rabbit. Mm. Look at you can check him for spiky extra whiskers and Spikiness. It's looking a bit grubby. Full stop. I cannot see the actual risk from here. Paddington at the cathedral. Second one. Move safely into Paddington Corner. And nothing else in that one. I'll press on though. I will press on. Mm. As we battle the heat. This mini heat wave. Um, absolutely. Sweating. Oops. 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 Professional. I'll edit that out. Mm. Okay. Mm. I don't want anybody knowing that I'm just a just a just a a, a loser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That's a Christopher Iron side. I've got an EEC star, so that's a, that's a plum. Keeper for most people. Around about that five million mintage. Don't see it all that often. Worth about a squid, a pound, a pound note, a quid, a penny more than 99 pence. Taylor Peter Rabbit. Straight off track. Team GB. Ha! Paddington at the tower joins his twin in Paddington Corner. I never feel confident when I'm up against you. 2019 50p, it's another paddy. It's another Paddington at the tower. Victoria Cross the medals. It's dirty. It's dirty. Have we got any other Victoria Crosses? No. no. I'll put it there. Dictionaries. Have we had a dictionaries? No, I don't think we have actually. No. How did that? What's 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 I feel like an absolute pro. Mm -hmm. oh, I know. Kind of distinct lack of lack of uh, mm. finds for my book. There's a few commemoratives coming here though, nothing that you need though. There's another diversity. Another EEC stars. It's not bad condition. Oh, we've got another Benjamin uh, uh, Battle of Britain as well. Mm. Don't, uh, don't see them very often. Mm -hmm. To see two in a hunt, it's pretty unusual. Mm -hmm. That's it. That is in really nice condition as well. Brexit. Certainly compared to the first one, and then a Taylor Peter Rabbit. So we still need Jeremy Toad Boy, mm -hmm. the Frog Boy. Complete the 2017 set, and uh, pretty low on the bunny count as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, this this will turn it. This puddle duck will turn it. Okay. Oh, it's a squirrel nookin, it's nice. Mm. Nice, five million. I haven't seen him for a while. No, five million, minted. Maybe he's been uh, relatively scarce. Hibernating. Maybe he's a pound worth, a pound fifty. There's a another act. diversity. I'll move that over there so we can sit them together. Little mini set. Hmm. Not a bad little find, now. Yep. He's certainly a keeper. You'll be getting. Squirreled away into my collection. Sherlock Holmes. Might be better than the last one. Oh. Oh. It's a Christopher Ryan side as well. It's been marked, that, hasn't it? It has. That's a definite. Anybody, anybody know that is going to get a good close-up, so I'll, I'll probably use that as a thumbnail. Can anyone identify this Christopher? Yeah. Doesn't look like kind of a signature or anything. Looks more like a... Scribble or a, you know, just a Yeah, just a scribble it. out, but yeah. Yeah, and there's nothing, nothing on the other side. Otherwise, it's washed off. I've got a lovely condition scout set. That's in really nice oh, yeah, condition. Yeah, it's isn't it? What's that, 15 years old? That doesn't look like it's been in circulation for 15 years. That one stripe across Her Majesty. But, um, hmm, not bad. Might keep that in case of emergencies. <laughs> in case an emergency scout is Scouting required. emergency. Yes. Always be prepared. Mm, so I have thinned my collection out a little bit of late. Mm -hmm. So I need to just maybe build it back Another up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you thin it out for a reason though. Oh, yes. Two diversities. Indeed. In the same bag. This Benjamin Bunny challenge is looking pretty grim. Oh. oh, there uh, he is, right at the last. I'm trying to check the rotation. Yeah, on can that. do. Can do. It's normal. No coin patrol edge inscription either. No one's written on his snoz. Just a second. Just two. Oh, man, is that hot? Sticking to the coins. You are hot, lady, and that is for sure. No two ways about it. So stick around for that uh, Winnie the Pooh coin. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's get the administration done with the bunnies. Do you want to put them two bunnies in there, Lady M? One. Two, a little do, there. do let me know if you know anything about this. So if you want to claim it, do let me know. Um, it's going into circulation, like. 
I won't be keeping it. Can't keep it all. Right, we'll clear this off. Clear the decks. That's that done. And we're going to do... Hmm, what's the plum? What's the, the what's the, the plum? Book. Not... Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go double plums. I'm gonna, I'm Ooh. gonna, I'm gonna double plum. Right. This, and I'm gonna okay. say it's them. Right. I'm gonna go with squirrel, not king, because I haven't found it for ages. No. I do like the scouts, so that it, it's, it it's is. a genuinely nice coin anyway. Yes. Nice design, and it's nice and shiny. It's in so. such a nice condition, so I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna say that there's a little double, okay. little double bubble there, and uh, I'm gonna put that back into circulation because he's dirty. I'll keep that one. Okay. I'm going to keep all the rest, you know. Do I need that battle of Hastings? Honestly, you're like a squirrel. I don't suppose I need the battle of Hastings, do Ginger I? Ginger and bushy. Ginger bush. Bush. Right, they're going to be my keepers. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, so let's go on. Let me tell you a little bit about this. So this is the latest release from the Royal Mint. Or is it the time of filming? It's Kanga and Rue in colour. So Lady M really likes Winnie, well, likes Disney. We all do in this house. And um, but uh, Winnie the Pooh is a big favourite of Lady M. So mm -hmm. we decided to sign up. And this is coin number, is it eight? I think there's one more left after this. Yeah, they did three in 20, three in 21, and three in 2022. Mm -hmm. So we've had Eeyore, I think, this year. And uh, Kanga and Roo to go. So looks looks nice in the colour. Looks absolutely awful in the base metal. It really does. It looks an absolute mess. But it doesn't look so bad in the uh, in, in the colour. What do you think, Lydia? What's your cute. what's your view? Yeah, that's no, quite cute. I like it. Good. And we got this as well. You get a you get a you get a little holder so you can you can fold that up and put the three in for the uh, in your little little slot there. So yeah. that came that came as well. But we we open it out and put them on display, don't we, in the living yeah. room? So I'm that not will sure where there's an extra join. splodge of metal on the edge of this though. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, on the bottom, let me see down there, or whether it's just. The plastic inside, it's hard to tell. Yeah. You see? Yeah, you do yeah. Want to point it out. I don't think any of the cocktail stickers are broke or that. Yeah, I broke it. Mm. It's just like kind of... But right on the edge. So yeah. is it poor quality control or mm. is it just a bit of plastic? Yeah, it's hard to tell until you, unless you went like, and opened it up and what or not. I mean, I can if you want me to open it. Well, it needs opening, so I'll uh, I'll do it though because your hands are filthy. Uh, it is difficult to t tell without completely taking it out, but yes, it does look like a little mark on it. But hey, what? What a shame. 20 quid down the swanny. Down the swanny. I suppose you could send it back. But yeah, and those of you haven't seen, they do open up to this place. Yeah, I, I think this is probably one of the best um, display um, cases that they do. Mm. Ah, super cool. Oh, I wasn't going to handle it. Wasn't going to have dirty hands. Oh, too bad. But you better, you better take it for me. Never mind. Right, that's us all done. So thank you very much for watching. Do tune in on Sunday. I'll have a solo hunt for you, or maybe some silver cleaning coins or something for you. Do do do, piggy piggy pig. <laughs> is there? A, I was going to say, is there a pig in Winnie the Pooh? Of course there is. It's piglet. Um, yeah. So I do tune in Sunday, or come back next week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you'll find. Mr. and Mrs. Bungle hunting through coins. Right, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.